10 Tips for Improving Your Nonverbal Communication Strong communication skills can help you in both your personal and professional life. While verbal and written communication skills are important, research has shown that nonverbal behaviors make up a large percentage of our daily interpersonal communication. How can you improve your nonverbal communication skills? The following tips can help you learn to read the nonverbal signals of other people and enhance your own ability to communicate effectively. 1. Pay attention to nonverbal signals. People can communicate information in numerous ways, so pay attention to things like eye contact, gestures, posture, body movements, and tone of voice. All of these signals can convey important information that is not put into words. By paying closer attention to other people's unspoken behaviors, you will improve your own ability to communicate non-verbally. 2. Look for incongruent behaviors. If someone's words do not match their non-verbal behaviors, you should pay careful attention. For example, someone might tell you they are happy while frowning and staring at the ground. Research has shown that when words fail to match up with nonverbal signals, people tend to ignore what has been said and focus instead on unspoken expressions of moods, thoughts, and emotions. So when someone says one thing, but his or her body language seems to suggest something else, it can be useful to pay extra attention to those subtle nonverbal cues. 3. Concentrate on your tone of voice when speaking. Your tone of voice can convey a wealth of information, ranging from enthusiasm to disinterest to anger. Start noticing how your tone of voice affects how others respond to you and try using your tone to emphasize ideas that you want to communicate. For example, if you want to show genuine interest in something, express your enthusiasm by using an animated tone of voice. Such signals not only convey your feelings about a topic, they can also help generate interest in the people listening to you speak. 4. Use good eye contact. Good eye contact is another essential nonverbal communication skill. When people fail to look others in the eye, it can seem as if they are evading or trying to hide something. On the other hand, too much eye contact can seem confrontational or intimidating. While eye contact is an important part of communication, it's important to remember that good eye contact does not mean staring fixedly into someone's eyes. How can you tell how much eye contact is correct? Some communication experts recommend intervals of eye contact lasting 4 to 5 seconds. Effective eye contact should feel natural and comfortable for both you and the person you are speaking with. 5. Ask questions about nonverbal signals. If you are confused about another person's nonverbal signals, don't be afraid to ask questions. A good idea is to repeat back your interpretation of what has been said and ask for clarification. An example of this might be, so what you are saying is that. Sometimes simply asking such questions can lend a great deal of clarity to a situation. For example, a person might be giving off certain nonverbal signals because he has something else on his mind. By inquiring further into his message and intent, you might get a better idea of what he is really trying to say. 6. Use signals to make communication more meaningful. Remember that verbal and nonverbal communication work together to convey a message. You improve your spoken communication by using body language that reinforces and supports what you are saying. 
This can be especially useful when making presentations or when speaking to a large group of people. For example, if your goal is to appear confident and prepared during a presentation, you will want to focus on sending non-verbal signals that ensure that others see you as self-assured and capable. Standing firmly in one place, shoulder back, and your weight balanced on both feet is a great way to strike a confident pose. 7. Look at signals as a whole. Another important part of good non-verbal communication skills involves being able to take a more holistic approach to what a person is communicating. A single gesture can mean any number of things, or maybe even nothing at all. The key to accurately reading non-verbal behavior is to look for groups of signals that reinforce a common point. If you place too much emphasis on just one signal out of many, you might come to an inaccurate conclusion about what a person is trying to say. 8. Consider the context. When you are communicating with others, always consider the situation and the context in which the communication occurs. Some situations require more formal behaviors that might be interpreted very differently in any other setting. Consider whether or not non-verbal behaviors are appropriate for the context. If you are trying to improve your own non-verbal communication, concentrate on ways to make your signals match the level of formality necessitated by the situation. For example, the body language and non-verbal communication you utilize at work are probably very different from the sort of signals you would send on a casual Friday night out with friends. Strive to match your non-verbal signals to the situation to ensure that you are conveying the message you really want to send. 9. Be aware that signals can be misread. According to some, a firm handshake indicates a strong personality, while a weak handshake is taken as a lack of fortitude. This example illustrates an important point about the possibility of misreading nonverbal signals. A limp handshake might actually indicate something else entirely, such as arthritis. Always remember to look for groups of behavior. A person's overall demeanor is far more telling than a single gesture viewed in isolation. 10. Practice, practice. Practice more and more. Some people just seem to have a knack for using nonverbal communication effectively and correctly interpreting signals from others. These people are often described as being able to read people. In reality, you can build this skill by paying careful attention to nonverbal behavior and practicing different types of nonverbal communication with others. By noticing non-verbal behavior and practicing your own skills, you can dramatically improve your communication abilities. A word from very well. Non-verbal communication skills are essential and can make it easier to convey your point and to read what others are trying to tell you. Some people seem to come by these skills quite naturally, but anyone can improve their non-verbal skills with practice. If you want to enjoy more inspirational, life hacks and motivational videos like this, subscribe to our channel and you will see again in the next video. Until then, stay well, stay healthy and stay with the Motivation Minute. Thank you.